Perinos, it's Tom here, stealing Arvi's line and stealing Arvi's normal role for the videos. Uh, we've just, like, I purchased a 3D printer a little while ago, printed for myself a shield boss that I found on Thingiverse, I believe it was. Um, but I've printed it in PLA. It's not the most stable, but it's definitely suitable for LARP. Uh, as you'll see later, we took a baseball bat to it, and it survived quite well. There's some impressive flex in the baseball bat, actually. Um, but PLA is just a modern plastic that is actually biodegradable. It's not quite as durable as steel, but it's certainly a lot more durable, this at least is, than a lot of the shield bosses that are currently being used on field. And, like, I'll be honest, it was probably about a 20-hour job. Didn't take that, uh, like, it was set and forget, but about 20 hours. Didn't take much material, and yeah, it seems to be quite durable. It's suitable for uh, for temperatures anywhere up to, if I remember correctly, it's about 90 degrees, 110, that it starts getting soft. And that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So it should survive quite a while in Australian heat. Um, like, this one's been in my place for the last few days, and as you know, it's not been a cool, warm, uh, cool week. Um, I can't think of anything else. We are planning to potentially use these in future designs. Um, there is a lot of detailed work on it, not that you can really see that from where you are. And yeah, we're hoping to possibly incorporate these into future designs and future things, but this was just a test to see how the, uh, well, how it works, basically. <laughs> 